These boosts are, should be able to, yeah, take out one turret, the second turret, gonna get taken out, just gonna come up, but instantly gonna get taken out. SCV is gonna get damaged. Some Marines on both sides, but Quano is gonna micro against them. He's gonna be able to fly. He's not gonna be able to take advantage of that one single ridge there. But he's gonna fire on the Muters, getting a lot of them shot, but doing a lot of damage, taking quite a few SCVs out. So he's playing beautifully in that regard, forcing fights to run around with his Marines, not in range. Well, those Muters at this point, so he's gonna be able to take out this refinery. Freely, Flash still has all these better Marines there at the north. Finally, some are running at the south, so he's gonna lose his refinery. One gas gonna go down. Quanro playing pretty well now, loses one Mutos there, I believe. Yet again, actually gonna go in now, gonna try to prevent the turret from coming up. The turret just comes up, but instantly goes down. We're gonna see if we manage to kill that many SCVs more. Still killing SCVs at this point. Running around, flying around those Marines, getting a lot of his Mutos picked off from the northern Marines there on the ridge but still doing some pretty decent economic damage. I'm just not quite sure whether he did enough damage to uh, justify losing that many Mutalists. There are more Mutalist reinforcements coming in, still running in, picking off SCVs. There are medics there. They're trying to heal the SCVs, but uh, the Mutalists still managed to pick off one SCV in one shot. Two control towers alongside a science facility coming up, so two control towers. So he might actually be going for something else. You can see where he actually goes for Valkyries. Not quite sure whether I saw an armory come up or not. Two control towers, that probably means, could possibly mean he's trying to go for upgrades very heavy. Oh! Quano yet again, adding in a second evolution chamber. What's a lot more important is that he's adding in another hive. He is going for a hatchery there at the southern, taking the double gas. So he's going to go for very early hive yet again. Looks like he's going to try to go for it. Heavy Defaller Port yet again. Actually, the Mutalists now inside of the main are behind those SCVs, are going to be able to fly around, are going to spot the dual star ports. So we're going to see whether Quanro decides to stay with these Mutalists because there's going to be a heavy threat to them very soon. And my nose itches. Don't know why, but it does. <sighs> Maybe I have allergies without knowing. I do not. I have, I'm allergic to Quanro. No! No! I like Quanro so much. I don't want to be allergic to Quanro. But yeah, Quanro. When I say like him, I don't like him. Like him. For you perverted people out there. But he is grouping up a lot of mutalisks. Actually, you gotta force him to run back a little bit. Get a micro against getting, letting those marines get a few free shots off. Are gonna run and kill. A few forces picking off, now gonna pick off several more SCVs. So quanto has been doing this very beautifully, forcing Flash to stay inside of his base. A lot of SCVs are being killed here. So he's definitely using his Mutalists in a beautiful manner here. Getting some free shots on those Mutalists by turrets and such, but still playing beautifully. Greater Spire coming in. So, wow. Guardians. Guardians, Guardians, Guardians. Guardians gonna be coming in. That's, that's very interesting. And Flash actually never mind on whatever the hell I thought he was going for. He's actually going for getting a science vessel. Going for Why didn't I read? I saw the science vessel and my brain didn't work it out. But just <laughs> producing science vessels from two star ports right off the bat. So Flash is actually going to rely on some uh, radiates to help these mutalisks. And I think Quano might actually be walking right into this. Quano's actually expanding at the upper left hand at this point. So he's expanding all over the place. But I think he might actually be walking right into this. He's actually going to go and try to engage these science vessels. If he manages to engage them, it might actually be a good idea to try to take those out. Because radiates are going to be coming in. And I think Quano is going to have to be very careful with his Guardian play. Because Guardians are so, so vulnerable to science vessels. Oh, <laughs> Quan are actually getting an ultra list cavern alongside of the Fowler Den. So oh, oh, what is that? Ten sunkins outside of his natural expansion. He has almost no forces on the ground, so he's just gonna suck it up. Flash gonna Flash is gonna scan that's gonna go eh. even more sunken colonies, but now Guardian's on the way for Quanro, he's splitting those cocoons up. But now Science is coming in and yeah, forcing Quanro to instantly cancel. Some of these marines instantly get killed, forcing to cancel me more. A lot of his oh it meant mutalist. A lot of his mutalists killed needlessly there, getting a lot of his forces. Really needs to lower that science number. That's going to be critical for Quanro here because he's going for Defiler Ultra play. Defiler Ultra def, uh, Defiler Ultra Guardian play. I mean, so it's going to be very critical for him. <laughs> Oh my god, looking at the sunken line, that is hilarious. Flash is definitely not going to be able to penetrate that without tanks, which he's going to get soon enough, I think. But Flash, I think soon enough should be able to expand. He really needs to expand some here. Quanter still has a very small number of mutants, but has a lot of scourge there to support, so he's going to use those to attack. Quanter has been expanding all over the place, though, so he's going to be able to afford all of these sunken colonies. Has a few drones 
kind of partially distance mining some minerals, probably m because he has a lot of forces at the extractor. Flash finally not taking the third, I believe, at the lower, at the two o'clock position. I'm not quite sure if he's taking a base anywhere else. Actually, running with his Marines towards the upper left hand base now, and I'm not quite sure if Quanro has enough defenses. Poor colony, just alongside those second colonies for Quanro outside of his natural. Mule is now flying all over the place, killing some random Marines. Uh, we're running up, trying to do some damage. Still a lot of science was on the field. And dropships now coming up for Flash. Two dropships, so he's going to be able to drop all over the place. Do have a lot of damage. I think he actually took out the upper left-hand base for Quan. I'm not quite sure. But I think he managed to clean that up fairly safely. Now science vessels running up at this new base. Sport colonies, sunken colonies, and overlords. And Flash is not <laughs> going to decide not to do anything there. A lot of ultras. Two Nidus canals, actually in his main so he has a lot of forces Quanra just trying to play very interestingly the way of defensive Zerg that he's playing he's been doing a lot of economic damage to Flash lost his upper left hand base that isn't going to reproduce another base just below that he's trying to get advantage taking advantage of the base by taking a gas and Flash is actually now going to expand the lower left hand I believe that's the main at the 5 o'clock so if Quanra spots that he's going to be able to do a lot of damage if he doesn't though he could be in trouble because Flash, you know, Terrans of course can run on lower economy than any other race, especially against Zerg. But he has to be overall very careful. Quanro has to go and do some economic damage. Has to prevent that science vessel from going as high as it's most likely going because I've been seeing he's just been producing science vessels from two star points all the time, getting another radiate off. Scourge instantly gonna die all throwing a radiate and man, nothing else gonna be able to do too much. Ultra's actually being dropped in the upper left hand. Well, Marines are trying to kill the hatchery there, but the Ultras are actually going to be able to clear this up. Although, I think it's partially... I don't really think it's Quanro revealing his hand. I honestly believe Flash would have scanned his base at this point, killed everything. Radiate's going off on Overlords at this point, point to just yell yeah, at Overlords to prevent drops and stuff. Flash just has too much Radiates to give. He's just trying to kill those Overlords with a lot of Ultras inside, just trying to prevent uh, Quanro from moving this around too much. And that's, I think, one of the problems. Scourge can run out, not going to be able to take out a single science vessel. Just four science vessels at this point for Flash, but he still has a huge medic marine group. Still doesn't have too much elf. Quanro is going to spot the 5 o'clock position. He was trying to actually take that base, but he's going to spot that. So Flash actually moved with a lot of forces towards that, most likely expecting an attack at the position. And Flash has six Raxes at this point, producing a lot of medic marines. Still don't see a factory actively getting tanks for him. Still running around all over the place with medic marines. And he has to be really careful how he uses those. Has cracklings on the field, of course. Decided to cancel his guardian strategy, so I felt that was totally wasted minerals on his part. Getting a single devourer would, would actually be very interesting for him, just to see what he can do. Actually, in a running with guardians right inside of Flash's main. Flash doesn't really do it. Okay, Marines are moving out to defend, but we're going to see what his ultras manage. They don't have any cracklings to support. His ultras are just going to run in. The radiates are going to be coming in right now. So Quanro's actually kind of sacrificing his ultras to try to do some sort of troop damage.